All right, so here we've uh, built a really, really simple uh, hello world um, uh, endpoint, right? That HTTP endpoint, right? That uh, we can hit for with the uh, with, from our browser really easy, you know, slash hello, and it responds with hello world. So let's do a, a, something a little more interesting. Uh, so instead of just responding with a simple string, uh, let's instead you know respond with uh, something a little more interesting, like for instance, uh, maybe a, a uh, an array, a JSON array that might contain uh, quizzes, right? Or an array of objects, right? So, so, it, so this object, you know, it could be arbitrarily complex JSON objects. Right? So I'm doing an array, it could be a map, it could be whatever, whatever you, we, we can configure as JSON. So, so here we're going to um, uh, create a, a couple of objects so uh, that represent a, a couple of quizzes. So we have here maybe uh, ID, uh, the ID for the quiz is uh, one two three, and the and the quiz has the following uh, title or name for the quiz, and this will be maybe quiz one, uh, and let's create just a couple of these. So three quizzes, uh, quiz one, quiz two, and quiz three, and then this uh, quiz, what we're going to do is that we're going to uh, create an API that allows us to respond with this uh, set uh, selection of quizzes. Uh, so, for instance, we could uh, create a RESTful um, API that can that can can respond to app.get, and and here we can ask for um, you know the the uh, uh, the array of quizzes. Now, if we follow the um, the naming conventions for RESTful, uh, we typically we prepend all our requests with a slash API, uh, and then and then we have at the end you know what it, what is it that we're the entity that we are uh, asking for. So in this case, we're asking for quizzes. So quizzes, right? And in here, we're going to receive a, a callback, right? A, a function, the request and response. Uh, and we're going to, uh, our response will be to perhaps you know, return all the quizzes, right? So we can just just respond with quizzes like that, right? Quizzes, there you go, right? Uh, so, so what this is going to do, well, I'm sorry, it's going to use the uh, response that sends, right? The quizzes. Right, it's going to send the quizzes uh, back uh, to the uh, client when they uh, when they um, uh, when they require it. We're sending the, the request. All right, so let's try it out. All right, so if we go back to our Node.js and we stop it, uh, we can restart it. All right, and, and here in the uh, in the client we can say you know slash API slash quizzes. There we go. Right, and notice that uh, it comes back with the JSON array of quizzes as we uh, would expect. Okay. Um, one, one other thing here is that if we know that we're going to be sending back uh, something other than just uh, text, right, uh, we should, instead of using uh, just dot send, we should instead use another function called JSON dot JSON. So JSON is, uh, it works just like send, but it does some additional validation, right? It validates that this is, um, Format it correctly as JSON. It uh, makes sure that it has the uh, the correct MIME type. You know, app slash um, uh, app, app, app application JSON, right? Uh, so the correct MIME type does validation. So, so if you know you're going to be sending JSON, uh, certainly use the JSON function, right? If you run it again, right, it should just work the same. Refresh. Yeah, there we go. Okay.